بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of tracheal mass lesion, the essential info- information for the differential diagnosis issues and common causes, less common causes and rare causes, and the clues for the each diagnostic issue for these causes. and some examples for that. Essential information. We should consider malignant lesion until above otherwise in the tracheal mass lesion. Malignant feature of a tracheal mass include size more than two centimeter, extra luminal component, can be quite large and invasion of the surrounding structures. These are three uh, features of tracheal mass lesion to be malignant one. Differential diagnosis of tracheal mass lesion, the common causes include metastasis, primary tracheal tumor, either squamous carcinoma or adenoid cystic carcinoma, and one of the benign conditions, it is a mucus plug. The clues for common diagnosis, metastasis, there is direct invasion from the adjacent tumor arising from the lung, thyroid, and esophagus. and these are primary tumor can invade the trachea or can be metastasis from other distant primaries like melanoma, which is less common. Here, this is a metastatic uh, a tracheal lesion, shows iceberg lesion, almost completely occluded the tracheal lumen. due to metastasis. Primary tracheal neoblasm include squamous carcinoma. There is a focal mass or diffuse nodular wall thickening of the trachea. Or the second one, it is adenoid cystic carcinoma. It is common in young adults aged between 30 and 56 years age. Extra luminal component is characteristic in adenoid cystic carcinoma and diffuse infiltration with some mucosal extension. Here we see coronal reconstructed contrast enhanced CT scan. There is a mass lesion in the trachea endoluminal bodoboid component due to sequent muscle carcinoma. Here, this is axial contrast enhanced CT scan. There is a lobulated mass lesion, homogeneous, eccentric soft tissue involving the posterior wall of the trachea and extend to the surrounding tissue due to invasion. And this is also another sequimus carcinoma of the trachea. Here, there is uh, adenoid cystic carcinoma and this axial CT scan image with contrast shows nodular, uh, nodular soft tissue mass, wall thickening of the trachea. and there is diffuse infiltration of the, and narrowing of the airway. There is no invasion of the surrounding uh, structure.
as we see here, the fat blend is still intact. In mucus, generally not dense enough to be well seen on soft tissue window, can demonstrate mobility with changing image position or coughing. Here we have axial contrast enhanced CT scan. And there is a soft apparent soft tissue density noted on the trachea with uh, interleaving gas, and this is characteristic of mucus or mucoid material in the trachea. Less common causes we have the a mucoepidermoid carcinoma and a tracheobronchopathia osteochondroblastica. A mucoepidermoid carcinoma, majority of patients are less than 30 years of age, and imaging feature it is similar to other primary tracheal tumor. Tracheobronchopathia osteochondroblastica is the age of involvement of uh, about 50 years and it is common in men and there is cartilaginous uh, and osseous nodule noted giving the appearance of couple stone appearance, spares the posterior tracheal membrane. Here we see this axial contrast, non-contrast enhanced CT scan, patient with large endodominal mass lesion, and uh, proved to be mucoevidomoid carcinoma. Here, this is a patient with the tracheobronchopathia uh, osteochondroblastica with coronal non contrast enhanced CT scan shows extensive calcified nodular thickening of the airway involving the trachea and its major branches with a proliferation and the protuberance of the tracheal rings. Rare causes, it is a myelodosis, but it is common. A myelodosis shows a smooth nodular or tumoral wall thickening, unlike TBO involves the posterior tracheal membrane can be soft tissue density with or without calcified or ossified component. Here we see axial contrast enhanced CT scan shows focal calcified lesion in the left side of the trachea as a nodule represent amyloid deposition. Thank you for listening, hoping to see you soon in another 